YouTube. Welcome to another episode of Two Wheel Family. Uh, first and foremost, guys, I want to tell you guys that this is one of my favorite bikes. Yes. Because it was the most neglected bike. There you go. Um, I'll tell you, this bike, when it came to the condition, we, we were finding all types of spiders and bugs there on it. so many. All right, we were finding cobwebs that looked like they, they came out of Indiana Jones on this bike, guys. <laughs> Uh, but I had to go back to what I know because I used to do pest control. Yep. Um, so I had to buy the name brand, you know, the best quality products. Yes. Um, and me and my wife, we went ahead. We tore this entire bike down. Oh, yeah. Literally Take every inch Take of this bike. We got it down to its Ooh. actual bare skeleton. So there is nowhere <laughs> for a bug to hide. I've been cleaning this bike every day since I've gotten it. Yep. Uh, but I'll tell you what really worked was after me and my wife, we used the treatment. Yes. It killed every single bug that was on this. Now we're not finding one spider web on this Nothing. bike now. Um, but uh, here's the, the small clip uh, of me and my wife spraying the bike down and all the products we used. So as you guys can see, we just bombed the CBR 1000. Oh yeah. And when I say bombed her, I'm gonna show you the exact product that I use because this is exactly what you need to do to get rid of any infestation, spiders, anything. Um, I was in pest control for a, about four or five years. So um, the only brand that I trust is Suspend Polyzone. Oh yeah, baby. All right, it's extremely expensive, guys. But uh, if you have any, this is really what it's made for is uh, spraying the inside of your house, your baseboards. Um, but uh, like I said, I just sprayed the entire bike with the Suspend Polyzone. Um, and I just put it in a spray bottle. You see, the cool thing about, about the Suspend is you can squeeze it. And you see that you can see it going up, uh, going up in there. And it'll start to fill up the small section there. Um, so it pretty much shows you how much you need per bottle. But uh, I went ahead... And uh, this was the bottle that I filled up with the Suspend and uh, shook it up real good and sprayed the entire bike down, guys, every single crack and crevice. As you can tell, she's still dripping right now. So, yep, just to make sure that uh, I got rid of every single spider in this bike. Um, that is what you want to do, guys. If you have any type of, you know, bug problem, even inside your house, if you got a bug problem in your house, you know, the Suspend Poly Zone will truly take care of it. You don't want that Walmart Target can, uh, you know, with the spiders, on, with, the, with the picture of the spiders yeah, and all that. Raid. Yeah, you don't want the raid, all right? That, that stuff is trash, literally. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and spend the 50 to 60 bucks and use, this is what the uh, big pest control companies are using, yeah. uh, is the Suspend Poly Zone. And obviously, I would know as uh, I was in pest control for about four to five years, guys. So, um, and if anyone's wondering, uh, for your exterior spray, you're going to want to use Fuse and Optimate. Uh, those are two different chemicals and that's what you use for your exterior, exterior of your home. You're going to use Fuse and Optimate and I'll make sure to put that in the description as, uh, you'll literally see a major difference when it comes to pest, uh, taking care of any bugs, any type of pest uh, problem that you have, uh, you know, when it comes to your house, but, uh. Yeah, guys, I just wanted to show you that uh, we went ahead and we sprayed this entire bike down with the Suspend Poly Zone. And, uh, yep, no more bugs. <laughs> you know? And, and, you know, at the end of the day, I, I probably only pulled off maybe like eight to nine spiders off this bike since I've had it. But uh, this is just, uh, you know, some added insurance, uh, you know, when it comes to going to sleep at night. Just knowing that there's no spiders tinkering or tinkering or around, you know? Exactly. so. Uh, super excited now, man. Uh, pretty much just made this bike as clean and as new as possible by spraying her down. Yeah, guys. So as you can see, this bike was absolutely filthy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, just really disgusting. Um, and this is why I try and tell you guys, if you can keep your bike inside your house, yes. you know, um, you, you don't want bugs and all types of creatures infesting the bike. You don't want it sitting out in the elements. Luckily, yeah. Honda did a really good job of uh, sealing off the motorcycle mm -hmm. from the elements. Um, as we look down in the throttle bodies, they still look brand new, like showroom condition. So no water got down in there. Um, you'll realize that we, you know, we bought so many bikes in our life that uh, we bought bikes that people left outside, you know. And so there's been other bikes where me and my wife we've taken the uh, airbox off of. And you could see water made it all yes. the way down into the throttle bodies, and it got down into the valves. 
That's insane. Yeah. You see? And that lets me know that the factory for those manufacturers didn't do, they, I really wouldn't say didn't do too good of a job when it came to sealing the uh, airbox off, but they really didn't have many plans that people would be keeping these keeping bikes outside, outside yeah. in big, heavy rains and stuff like that. So, uh, but yeah, guys, on today's agenda, um, I actually have brand new spark plugs for the bike. Uh, my wife, she blessed me with a brand new air filter for yes, the motorcycle uh, because the air filter that we pulled out of the bike looked Ooh. like some people were using it as an NFL football, yeah. guys. All right. <laughs> it was just cakes full of big fat beetles, yes, bugs, and dirt, mud, and dust, dirt, and leaves. Just, it was you just guys bad. get it. It was all bad, man. <laughs> Um, I, I really feel bad for this bike because uh, I, I believe that our 2006 Jixxer, uh, the $500 Jixxer, mm -hmm. is actually cleaner than this, or at least it was. Yeah. Um, I love this bike so much that I made it to where you can now take your sandwich and set it down here, <laughs> and you don't have to worry about a bug biting into your sandwich, guys, okay? Uh, but yeah, man, this bike has come very far. It is now showroom clean. Yes. That's why it's still in our house because mm -hmm. I made 100% sure that there is nothing living in this bike. Exactly. You see, uh, like there was. Um, but yeah, guys, anyway, what we're about to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this the old spark plugs out, all right? And then I'm going to show you, uh, we'll take a look at how the spark plugs are yeah. uh, in the bike. So let's go ahead and get the old plugs out. And if I'm going to guess, I'm going to say that the plugs have never been changed. Yeah. Seeing that the been. bike was kept outside yep. and we found about 16 to 20 big giant spiders yeah. and spider sacks on this sucker. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say the spark plugs are in terrible shape, but yeah. uh, let's take a look. 60 seconds later. <laughs> look at these plugs, guys. Okay. Oh my goodness. These plugs are shot shot. Yep. So we went ahead and threw in the new iridiums as these, they're literally leaving all types of uh, nasty stains on my hands. But uh, here, I'll bring it just a little bit more closer into the light here. And just to show you that ew. these these plugs, they've seen better days. So next on today's agenda, guys, is um, I actually ordered, here are is the tools that you need to actually adjust the steering head nut the actual uh, nut that compresses the entire uh, bearing assembly down in there. Uh, I had um, someone on Facebook tell me that it could be that that adjuster nut just backed itself off. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, wow. Wouldn't that be crazy? Right? I was like, you actually make sense. Let me try and adjust <laughs> that. Just in case I did buy tapered bearings, Boom. brand new tapered bearings. Uh, you know, OEM, they use um, the little ball bearings that are not good at all. Uh, you want to go with tapered bearings, guys, if you're upgrading your steering head bearings. Uh, just make sure not to go with the, they're actually called roller bearings. Yeah. Um, you don't want to go with the OEM roller bearings. You want to go with the tapered bearings. There you go. So, just to be very clear, uh, this is the part number uh, for the spark plugs that we installed. If you own a 2008 and up CBR 1000 RR. Oh. And again, here's a close up on the tools that you need. One of these is the size that I need. As you can tell, <laughs> I bought the entire kit, the whole seeing kit. that I didn't know what size I need. And it just is a little hook on it, you see, that that uh, that hooks up around the uh, the little steering uh, nut. And you can actually tighten it that way. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a lot better than taking a flathead and a hammer yeah. and just whacking at it. You know, you don't want to do that. It's better just to buy the right tools that you need, yeah. and it'll make the job a, a lot easier. But anyway, me and little mama, we're about to go ahead and jack the bike up. And uh, we're going to take the top triple off, and we're going to see if we were lucky enough to have just had the the nut back itself yeah. off, guys. Uh, but uh, if not, I've already planned for the worst. Exactly. Yeah, guys, and I wanted to bring up one last thing before we jack the bike up to tighten the steering head. Um, we did a smog delete on this bike, and we're going to be doing a pretty much a free smog delete as we're not going to be buying new um, block-off plates. We're just going to get a hose and connect uh, the hose from here all the way across to here, and there goes your free smog delete. So instead of spending 60 to 70 on some plates, <laughs> we're just going to connect a hose from here to here, and you call it a day. Uh, one last thing is, 
if we bring the camera up just a little bit, me and my queen, uh, when I bought the bike, this entire assembly was super, super yeah. loose. And so obviously the first thing I thought was to come to the back and tighten these. These were already tight. Mm -hmm. So obviously I knew it was something inside. So I uh, loosened these, took the entire back casing off and lo and behold, there's a bolt inside of there that can loosen itself off uh, just for anyone who has a um, 2017 and up um, um, CBR 1000, uh, if this is starting to get loose, you need to take this off and you need to actually tighten down the nut that's on the inside of there and then put your cover back on and you'll see that there is no more play. Got baby Callie right Hello, here. Baby just Callie. looking so gorgeous. <laughs> oh, yeah. So um, what I wanted to point out uh, as we are getting ready to tighten or at least attempt to tighten our uh, steering head um, is you have the bolt that needs to be removed here. Bolt. Bolt. All right, guys, we got our two 10 millimeter triple tree screws out. Now we're removing the triple tree nut uh, before you take. Actually, before you unscrew this, you're going to want to pop the black cover out. OK. Very easy, very simple. And then you obviously unscrew the nut that holds down the triple tree. Uh, we decided for our steering damper to go uh, at the top uh, screw here, as this was the easiest uh, to, to undo, uh, just for anyone who's wondering. Um, we went ahead and used a one half into three fourths adapter and this socket to take off the triple tree nut is a let me get to it one and five eighths guys perfect fit Hey guys, so uh, yeah, the steering head bearings are shot, shot. Thank God I prepared for the worst. Right? <laughs> um, you know, I tried to tighten them, as you guys saw, and uh, they were already like as tight as possible, uh, the nut that compresses them down. So instead of overly torquing that, that nut down, um, I can tell that the bearings are just done for. Uh, the original owner, the guy who I got it from, uh, when we were on our way to pick up the bike, he, uh, he came out of a gas station that was right down the street. And he, he came around our car at like 100 miles an hour. Um, so I can tell that he was still using that front brake, yeah. you know. And you couldn't pay me enough to ride this bike with the uh, the bearings as shot as they are. So me and my wife are going to knock the uh, bearings out. And uh, the next video will be the first startup and first ride of the CBR 1000. Um, as I said, we are uh, going from the OEM roller bearings to we're actually upgrading them to the tapered bearings. Yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, I wanted to tell you guys that... Um, I actually am offering the themes that I do to these motorcycles uh, to everyone. You know, if you have a, a sport bike and, you know, you want me to do a, a custom theme to your sport bike, all I need to do is see a picture of your bike and all you, all you need to do is tell me, like, what colors you want to see on the bike or what color you want to see if you just want, like, a solid color, uh, you know. And so we have pretty much um, a full throttle theme, and that's pretty much what you see there. That would be the most expensive theme. Yes. And then we have a theme that we can do that's uh, kind of like a half theme, you know, where it's, where it's not as full throttle as that, yeah. where the entire bike is covered up, obviously. But anywho, if that's something you, you know, anyone's interested in, reach out to me. Um, I really enjoy doing these custom themes to, the, to these motorcycles. Uh, you know, it's really cool to have something and, and make it unique. 
You know, make it to where when, you, when you're out riding, you know you'll never see another motorcycle with the same theme as you. Thank and and that's something that, you know, I create is very unique themes that are awesome that are very different. So that that's where that's where my mind is at. Yeah. All you have to do is tell me what color you want to see and I will create some wicked custom theme uh just using my mind. <laughs> and I can promise you it will exceed your expectations. Yes, it will. Definitely. Uh but also one last thing guys is we want to do reviews on motorcycles. Uh if you have a motorcycle uh, even a high-end car, yeah. you know, um, exotic cars, stuff like that. You know, I'm, I'm really looking to do reviews on people's bikes. I'd love to showcase, you know, people's motorcycle builds and their car builds yeah. as the world deserves to see, Thank you. you know, all that money that you guys put into your vehicles. So definitely reach out to me. My Facebook uh, name is Ivan Huracan. And, uh, you know, we can get you uh, scheduled to, uh, you know, do a video of, of your vehicle. Um, and like I said, if anyone's interested in getting a custom theme done, Definitely reach out to us and uh, we can get you an estimate to have that done. But stay tuned for the CBR 1000 first ride as that is coming soon. We love you all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And also, guys, feel free to comment. I love talking to you guys. So definitely feel free to comment. All right. Peace.